dearest, most highly esteemed, honorable, noble, and notable viewer, as in your name has been notated within the Lamb's Book of Decisiveness, of the Lamb's Book of Life, of life lived more abundantly, a life off the fence, a life polarized either to the light or to darkness. Because, dear esteemed viewer, now is the time, at least for us here in the West, United States in particular, but the West, when you say the United States, you're talking about the West because our putrid culture has been exported all over the world. You've got McDonald's in Honolulu. The West is in a rapid decline. While the rising economic and industrial powers of the world are China, Russia, Iran, and India, among 40 plus other BRICS nations, the West is already obsolete both in its economics, talking about fiat money, fake money, funny money, industry, and certainly in military capabilities. All this is third dimensional construct tomfoolery because everything ultimately is based on the spirit. Why is the West obsolete? Because the spirit has been corrupted. The spirit is obsolete. People go to church once a week, they hear the good news, but then they just live their life continuing the same pattern over and over again, never ever polarizing, never ever living as Yeshua taught, but, but that, all that was corrupted. So, but anyway, you're getting the good news now. You're getting the real news to understand that the spirit of the West is corrupt. The power shift taking place right now across our planet is truly historic and extremely volatile. It is time now to make a decision. It is time now before you find yourself in the pathway, because I'm going to tell you the pathway of destruction, because I'm going to tell you God the Father Almighty loves the devil more than he loves a lukewarm Christian or undecided, unpolarized individual who's still trying to kind of live an unauthentic life, an insincere life, non-integrated. The God that created all of creation, I'm talking about source, not your Old Testament Yahweh lizard God. Although God loves that lizard as well, but God loves the devil more than he loves an undecided individual. God has created an empire of evil that is meant to punish planets disobedient to God. The emperor of evil may be properly termed as the devil. However, this is the devil is totally devoted to delivering God's anger against all those usurpers and traitors to God's words. The one who is seated by his left side, he refuses worship and only worships the Father as he commands those in the vast multi-galaxy empire to do as well. He created war, murder, and suffering on a scale that Earth is about to sample. That is, if you have not built your ark, if you have not built your ark of consciousness and polarized either to the light or to death, you will be guided by the power of death. Now listen, join me in this prayer of ascension. Lord, Father God, Mother, Father God, source of all creation, of my being, I am that I am. I wish today to express and renew my deepest gratitude for this wonderful opportunity to present my request to be prepared for my ascension with my physical body in this life. I ask the spiritual hierarchy of the planet and all my guides, angels, and masters to instill in me enough faith to continue on my path with great determination. Even if I not see, hear, or feel in this third dimensional illusion construct, if I don't have that immediate validation, I know that my angelic team my guides are there for me to be totally drenched in the purity of the fire of the ascension for total purification so that only the purity of my divinity remains i ask for the courage and faith i need to keep this goal until the ascension becomes my reality i ask for for forgiveness 
for all the mistakes of the past, and I choose from today on to live my life with the love and wisdom of my divine essence. I ask the full meaning of the word, divine union, to be revealed. I ask for total support and assistance in the creation of my spiritual openings and returning my spiritual gifts. I ask for divine union and greater connection with all aspects of the self, particularly my beloved I am presence and my higher mental body. I ask that the strength, grace, joy, and kindness and love be given to me to go through all the tests and challenges presented to me and to be taken to the next step and the next one until I'm fully ascended into the light and free and totally free of this third dimensional illusion, this third dimensional, dimensional prison matrix. I express my deepest gratitude for the blessings and healing that grace my life every day Truly, appreciation is the sword of the wizard. And for my ascension with all my love and gratitude, I bow to the light of my divinity. I bow to the light of your divinity, dear viewer. Please, polarize. Get off the fence. Be thou hot or cold, because if thou art lukewarm, I shall spew thee forth. Namaste. Namaskaram.